Hello everyone, George here again. We're picking up right after the last lesson. In this case, we're gonna jump right in and start cutting up the entryway hall so that we can go from room to room. Now, in some cases I looked and some things here are just completely wrong. Um, they don't really follow the overall convention of the room. So if we're looking here at this top-down view, we can see that these two small rooms over here are actually restrooms. So let's jump over here. So we can see that camera seven is looking at these two restrooms. And these look like the typical style of a restroom where they're right next to each other and they sort of, sort of snake, you know, in either to the left or to the right, depending upon which side they're on. And then they go into a larger room. But we have no concept of what those rooms actually look like. So there's no door here at all for us to be playing with. So when we go back into Maya, if this is to be believed, these doors should probably be a little bit closer to one another, and each one leads off in its own restroom area. So these, these places should be far shorter because that back wall ends up just being a, you know, a, a location to sort of uh, force the person to make a turn for privacy. Because with these sorts of restrooms, you don't actually end up needing any kind of door. Uh, the double turn ends up becoming you know, a barrier in and of itself. Now, the interesting thing is that kind of makes it impossible unless I move these doors together for there to be any sort of functioning area over here. So if we grab, so let's let's go ahead and you know make a couple changes to how this layout is just to make this a little bit more realistic. So we're gonna move this one over. We'll move this guy over here. So people will come through this door and they're gonna snake around and then the actual bathroom would be to the back. Now the camera shouldn't be able to see any of that. So if I just kind of pull this over here, the intent here would be that the doorway into the restroom would be, let's see, whoops, F8, component mode, please. There we go, object mode. The idea here is that control D, W, the actual restroom area would be back here, or it would snake around back here. And you wouldn't be able to directly go and see into the bathroom. Okay, let's delete that for right now. It's not important. We're gonna delete this one. I just want both of these to be the same size. We'll duplicate this one. We'll push this one, I don't know, somewhere right around there. Let's go ahead and start slicing things up. So this is the main room right here. Now the hallway, I don't know. I gotta take a look at how this feeds into the other area. So let's go back to our footage real quick. That would be room, what, cam 2A, 2B. Now, unfortunately, these cameras are so incredibly noisy. I don't know. I mean, let's see, we got a light source up there and we have some stars on the walls and we have what looks like, geez, that's hard to see. I, I'm guessing this feeds into the stage area. I don't know which way 2A is looking. So is this door on the left from where we are, the entrance into that closet room, that the three, the camera three area? And are we looking down the hall then towards where people would be coming? So it looks like there are tables back there, right? There's a table there and a table there. Are those the same sort of table that's here? Are there party hats on there? So let's just, uh, let's assume it's a straight shot into the other room then. That means I don't actually need a doorway at all. It just kind of goes into it. So we're gonna get rid of that element. Whoops, let's get rid of that. Delete and let's go in here and delete this one. And we just need to combine these rooms together now. I want to assume it just kind of feeds right into the other room. So let's just uh, slice up the big room and give it some stuff to work with. So let's go shift, right click, insert edge loop tool, bring up the tool. We'll do relative distance for the moment. We'll pick, we'll do there, 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 and there. That way we can slice up and move this right over to the entrance. So move that edge over and grab this edge and move it over. Grab that edge, move it over, and let's just grab this one now and push it right there. And now we should be able to start nuking stuff. Now I am going to need a top edge because the heights are different. So let's once again, F8, uh, G key, well not G, right click, insert edge loop tool, we'll put one somewhere around there, grab that edge again, constraining the Y direction and hold down the V key and snap that edge right there. Okay, now we should be good to nuke these two portions. And we can come in here now as well and just get rid of these back walls altogether, can't we? We'll get rid of both of those. Come in here, grab this one as well, get rid of both of those. So I'm guessing if this is a true kind of entrance, there's probably 
or if this is the front of a true location. Ooh, what happened over here? Why is that green? Did I lose the material? Right click, assign existing material. Let's just give it a fong. Yeah, something happened with the material. Right click all of them, fong it. Perfect, save. So I'm guessing one side is the entrance and one side is the exit. And that way both of them go past the security room. So if you're really keen on security for this location, that's how you do it, I guess. I don't know. Let's come back to the side. We're gonna make this hole even bigger. Do the same for over here. So now we can uh, we can merge these two areas together. Uh, let's just grab these edge and W and V it. Whoops, soft selection mode, did not want that. Make sure it's off, looks like it's off. Hold down the V key, move it in, snap it. Come over here, right click edge and constrain and V snap. Okay, save. So now we have our entrance and our exit, which all go past the security room. And I guess this is making a little bit more sense, although it scares the hell out of me to think about it, because when you're in this game, you do feel very distant from the animatronics. But if you look at this setup, it's not that far. Uh, I mean, they're coming from off stage up here and they're coming out and moving around. And, and yeah, it's, it's not very far, which makes a lot of sense though, because sometimes the animatronics move damn fast, right? So this is why they're moving so quickly. It's not much of a space. And that's why um, what is it? Foxy can just jump on down here and run through the hallway and pretty much kill you in a few seconds. So this is where I need to start thinking if I wanna just export this out right now and bring it into Unity, set the cameras up and start looking through the cameras and getting a sense if they're at the right location. If I wanna to go to that extreme. And I, I really don't know if I want to. Um, you know, is there a reason to go that far? Okay, well, let's, uh, let's make an entrance to this door. Right click, insert edge loop tool, put one there, there. Once again, we're just gonna follow the same stuff. Let's uh, do it to the inside, drive to the inside there. And, ugh, different computer, window, settings, preferences, uh, preferences. Let's go to selection and I wanna do center. Eh, save it. We'll go with that. Okay, save that. Delete that side. Okay. Oof. Did that side get... Oh, jeez. That whole face got nuked. All right, well, let's cut up this hallway as well. Cut, cut, W, V, V, and get rid of things that we don't want. Get rid of that side. We can come back in here now. Get rid of that side as well. Save it. What did I do for this one again? I, I kind of only half did it, and I, I really should have thought this through a little bit further. So let's go back to, let's select this, unselect everything else. And I want to create a, a uh, standard for the spacing between all uh, walls and elements. And I want to use... The, these two pieces right here, the door itself and that frame. So let's control D both of them and move them out and bring them by themselves. So that's that's my spacing and I wanna respect this with everything I do. You know, is that door? Let me take a look over here too. So if I, what did I do? Control H. So I had not only have the frame, but then I also went into the wall and recessed the wall. I think I want this to all be one model, one element that I'm using. So I think I'm going to do is let's uh, double click to grab the entire ring, right click and grow that selection, and then grow it again. Oh, you know what? There's a glitch on this door. Check that out. I've got an infinitely thin portion right there. Okay, good to know. So I must have done an extrusion accidentally somewhere. I need to get rid of that. So anyway, that I'm going to duplicate now. Right click, let's go to uh, extract face, duplicate face, separate hit apply, close, and world coordinates, so I don't screw everything up, and move that out as well. Okay, so now we have a standard to work with, or at least we are creating a standard to work with. So this is our inner frame, and we want the door to be within that, and I believe the door fits perfectly snug there. Uh, let's just make my life easier. Right click, go to insert edge loop tool, insert, whoops, an edge loop. We want multiple, 
and directly down the center. Let's right click on this frame and also make sure we don't have any duplicate. We do. So we uh, brought along that problem we had. So let's go ahead and delete all of the infinitely thin faces. Okay. And that. And you too, please. And that one is clear for some reason. Delete. They all gone? Yes. Save. Always save. Okay, so now we've got that inner seam. That's just going to make things easier for me to uh, snap. So that snaps right in there. And is it the size? It's not the size. Look at that. It's all kinds of little errors from going too fast. Frame up. Look at this from uh, hold down shift, uh, modify, center the pivot. That's probably the issue. Okay, there we go. So now the door fits in there, although it doesn't look like it's fitting snugly. See how it kind of busts out on one side, but not on the other side? Let me move this back out. Let me just see why. Okay. Let's uh, right click, go to face mode, grab this. I'm just going to move this one up to there. Just I want everything to follow some sort of a convention. Why? Why do I have a double seam? And it also looks like the geometry of the door got messed up at some point and is bowed out in one area versus the others. So let's go to a side view on this. Do I have two doors? Uh, da, 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 da. Display. Okay, well, we're going to display, show, all. Grab the doors. Bring them over there. Frame up. Come over here. Frame up. There we go. Yeah, see the distortion we're getting here? So at some point, I had messed up. Let's hide that portion. And the frame got a little bit messed up. So let's jump into vertex mode. And what is really happening here? I'm sorry. That's the other... That's the frame. It's the inner portion that's actually wrong. Let's hide that. Go back to the side view. Right click. And uh, I'm going to make it wider. I feel like making it wider is probably the right choice. And probably even raising the height up slightly. Right there. Okay. Save. Uh, display. Show all. Okay. Now we should be good to go. Look at it from the top again. Frame up. Hit the W key. Snap this into the center region. It fits snugly in there. Everything should be fine. We can take this object. I'm going to duplicate it, or I could mirror it. doesn't matter. And I'm going to move this one. This is now the frame for the door. It pivots the back, so I can push that right up against there. I'm going to rotate this one 980, 180 degrees, 180, enter, and W key. And snap this one to right there. Okay, so now we have our door, our perfect door frame that we'll be able to reuse over and over and over again. Now the actual frame itself doesn't match the inside. I wonder if that's gonna be a problem. Uh, probably would end up being a problem, so we might as well fix that right now. Let's make them the same size. Let's grab the outer frame, go to the face on top, raise that up to the size of there. Come back to the other side and do the exact same process over here. Could duplicate if we want to, but this is so simple, there's no reason to waste the time. Let's go to the side now. Mm -hmm. Ugh, too many objects. Right click, face mode. Wrong object, please. Come on. Right click, face mode. Too much stuff. Maya's getting confused. We're going to push that out to there. We're going to do the same thing over here. Come around along the other side, move that, and do the same for this side, right there, F8, save, W, and now we have our door. Um, good question now is, uh, should edit, delete all by type, history, should I group these and just keep them as one unit? It's probably the right way to go. Um, can I create instances in this version of Maya, edit, duplicate special? I can't, can I? Hmm. And I can't do references in this version of Maya either, can I? Export, import, optimize, no. Crap. It would be nice to have references right now. Well, it doesn't matter. This is going to become a standard asset. Uh, let's call the security door. Um, uh, no, let's grab the whole thing. Are they named properly? Yes. 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 No. That's not named. What is this? Um, uh, door inner frame. 
what is this? Border, door, inner frame. Fine. Grab the whole thing now. Control G. We're just going to call this uh, door frame group 01. 